Hello my dear family members, I am very happy to inform you that most of the questions are common from TCS NQT Prime materials. By the way, as TCS NQT again going to conduct the exam on April, every candidate must give importance to the recent questions. So today we will be going through a coding question which was asked on TCS NQT last exam and this is repeated. That means any questions can be repeated. So let's see what's the question is. But before you proceed to the questions, I would recommend you to have the TCS NQT Prime materials in which you will have all the recent coding questions as well as the previous year questions and the mock test as well. So to get that, knock me at my Insta ID, instagram.com slash techno.tv. Okay, so let's see what's the question is. So the question is, before the outbreak of coronavirus to the world, a meeting happened in a room in Ohan. A person who attended that meeting had COVID-19 and no one in the room knew about it. So everyone started shaking hands with everyone else in the room as a gesture of respect. And after meeting, unfortunately, everyone got infected given the fact that any two persons shake hand exactly once. So can you tell the total count of handshakes happened in that meeting? So this is our task. So however, whatever and how, how much ever uh, there, there can be persons present in the room so how many handshakes can be possible uh, between those this is what we have to uh, we have to count right so the first sample input is the first line contains the number of test cases t and t lines follow okay and each line then contains an integer n the total number of people attended that meeting right and output format is print the number of handshakes for each test cases in a new line so this is very simple task okay so here is the constraints please follow that so sample input uh, like as follows so number of test cases are two so at first one person present inside a room so how many uh, handshakes can be possible so only between two people one handshake can be possible right so between one people only zero handshakes can be possible right so that's why output is zero and between two people only one handshake can be possible that's why output is one right okay so let's see the second sample input that is let's say the total test cases are three so if one person is present inside a room then zero test cases i mean zero uh handshakes possible right so that's why output is zero for that uh, input right and for three persons inside a room how many handshakes can be possible that is three right and for four persons in a room there can be total combination of six handshakes possible that's why output is six right so how this is happening so me, let me clear it okay so let's say there are three person a b and c inside a room right so how many handshakes can be possible so combinations are like a b ac and bc can uh, handshake right and for four persons inside a room a b c and d how many handshakes and the combinations of handshakes are possible like a b can handshake a c can handshake a d can also handshake b c can handshake b d can also handshake and c d can also handshake right so that's why total six combination are possible that's why output is six right so in logic how will you solve this problem so i hope you guessed the actual solution that is uh, the problem is uh, going towards the arithmetic progression sum that is n into n plus 1 by 2 using this formula we can solve this problem for three person for three person uh, we can uh, do this like the n into n plus 1 by two right but there is a problem what is that is for two person only one test only one handshake possible right so that means uh, you have to decrement the n i mean the number of persons by one right so at first you have to decrement the n by one then use the formula so let, let's say for three so for three the n is equal to three but we have to decrement that n by one so n becomes 2 so 2 multiple 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 right so 2 multiple are 3 that is 6 by 2 that is 3 right so that's why the output is 3 and for 6 the 2 uh, the n becomes 
so, sorry for sample input 4 the n becomes 3 and this is n plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 so that is 4 so 3 4s are 12 and 2 will be cut up with 6 right so that's why the output is 6 right so i hope you understood the logic and the syntaxes and the approach to the solution right so if you understood then please solve the problem and give the answer in the comment section and if you want the solution in python then let me know in the comment section i will try to assist you right so now i am solving the problem using java so let's see how how to solve this okay so let me create the class public class main and and uh, let me create the main method okay so now what i will do i will take the total test cases from the user right so let's create the scanner class object so scanner sc is equal to new scanner and system dot in okay So as I'm using scanner class, so I must have to import the java.util.scanner class. Okay. So now the test cases need to be inputted, right? So t is equal to sc dot next int. Okay. So this way we are taking the total number of test cases. So let's say at first we are taking the test cases to write and we have to go through all the test cases right so until or unless the test case becomes zero t greater than zero or t not equal to zero will perform certain tasks that is will uh, get the sum of arithmetic progression right so uh, we'll have to take the number of persons present inside first test cases right so inside first test case how many persons are present that is n is equal to sc dot next int so we are taking this from user so uh, observe here carefully that is we are using sc dot next int here and after that we are also using sc dot next int right so when you are using next int uh, just after any next int you must have to write sc dot next line right this is best practice otherwise then the special character i mean the new line character will be consumed by the next next int right so be mindful about that okay so now what i will do that is i will decrease the nth value by one because let's say there is two person so if two persons present then only one handshake can be possible right so for two only one test only one handshake possible that's why at first we have to decrease the n by one right then we have to get the sum the arithmetic progression sum right so for sum we have to initialize the sum like and sum is equal to zero okay so sum uh, is equal to n multiply n by n plus one then by two okay and we will print that sum okay so this is a very simple task but little bit uh, you have to be logical right and after that after, after printing the sum we have to decrease the test case by one so that we can go to the next uh, test case right so at first let's say we are taking sorry test case is two and total uh, number of person present inside the room that is two and at first this becomes one i mean the total number of persons present inside that becomes one and one multiply two by two becomes what becomes one right so that this is how we'll get the solution right okay let's run this and see if this is giving right output or not so for sorry t is equal to okay so i have to <laughs> declare as int variable right okay. sorry i have to de sorry i have declared this as int right okay so let's say the total number of test cases are two and for one person the output should be zero and for two person the output should be 
1 right for one person the output is 0 and for two person the output is 1 that means for two person handshakes can be possible 1 and for one person handshakes possible are 0 right okay so let's run it for our other sample input that is for three test cases uh, let's say uh, the first uh, uh, the number of persons present inside room that is one and the output should be zero and for uh, number of persons three the output should be three and for four persons the handshakes can be possible count that is six right so as expected right? so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes are used in this program right so very simple if you still have any problem any issue then let me know in the comment section i will try to assist you right so i hope you love this session if you found this video helpful and if you found if you think that this video added value to your career then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding tcs and duty or any playlist that you want and uh, if you want the prime materials in which i have included all the recent coding questions all the previous year questions all the mock tests so please knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash right so thank you for today's session